So now that we got most of the cosmetic stuff done, we're gonna start working on the hard top or the soft top, rather. In Warning! Following video contains scenes of graphic cringiness that may not be suitable for some audience. Viewer discretion is advised. So I've never done a soft top, so I went online and I was looking at it and I found this little instruction thing. Guy gives pretty much all the instructions or the walkthrough and how to get everything done. So we're gonna follow this guide as we go along, see if it'll make it a little easier on it. All right guys, so the first order of business is to get the old soft top off, so that's what we're gonna do. And then we'll head to the next step of getting the new one on. All right guys, so the first thing we're doing is removing the trim pieces like this, just pulling it up. And then there's another piece like a little hydraulic cover, plastic cover, it looks like that. And we're exposing it and getting to some of the uh, screws and everything. So that's the first thing. Well, the first thing is to take your top down. The second thing is to do that. All right guys, so the next thing we're gonna do is take off the clips that are located in the back right here. Just some clips against the wall and we're gonna take that off which should expose more more clips or bolts whatever to get to this which it's pretty much like tucked in and pinned under here so let's see so here's all four guys all right, so when you peel it back, you'll see it reveals about 12 identical screws like our bolts like these. I believe there are 10s I'm about to find out right now. The entire back right here is what holds the soft top to the back. And take those off and we should be able to pull the back piece off. All right guys, so it's a 10 millimeter. Go ahead and take them off. Alright guys, so here are the bolts. It's a total of 18. I'm a lie to you guys. So it's 18 bolts. Once you get those off, you can move on to the next step. And the next step will be to remove the seals like we did here. Taking it off. And just kind of keeping them in a line so you don't lose anything or you know, you know where it goes when you put it back. Alright guys, once that is done, we want to remove the, um, the top seal frame right here. I believe it's just Phillips fill up uh, bolts and then move to the next step. All right guys, so the next step will be to remove the frame for the, the seals right here. But I don't think this one's actually necessary because you can remove the top and it's not attached to the actual soft top, just mainly this one. And it's good, you're gonna need a torque bit. All right guys, so we just finished off getting the soft top off. Uh, that's pretty much all you need to get it off. Take those bolts off and uh, undo all the weather strips and all that other good stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to getting the new one on and see if we can get it on good. Let's go. Right, guys, so instead of using staples like the OEM one came with, we used uh, just regular screws to tack it along the back and hopefully it fits in pretty good. Guys, time to put the seals in. So here's the finished product. Give you a 360 walk around. Everything is on there pretty tightly. Looks good. Show you guys it rolls back too. I'll unlock it. There it is guys, it's back. Fresh convertible top. That's how you do it.
Yo, all right guys, so that's gonna conclude this video right here. Uh, that's how you switch your soft top on your BMW if you're looking to do something like that. Uh, go ahead and smash up that like button. If you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe because I guarantee more cool videos like this will be coming at you. Uh, comment below if you have anything to ask, any questions, or if you like the video, just comment below. Let me know what you guys think. I'm really excited to know what you guys think about the BMW or any of my builds for that matter. Uh, but yeah, I'm, that's it guys. I'm out. Peace.